The cow that's inside that pasture wearing a colour will, when it meets that boundary, hear an audio and that audio uh, will warn the animal that you are outside your grazing area, you need to return. And the animal learns that if I don't return, I get an electric pulse. So when I compare them to electrical fences that we're all used to, it's talk about animals using their, their ears to listen for the audio, where is my boundary, instead of using their eyes to see where an electric fence is. Most of our cattle we move on a daily basis using a system called mob grazing but with the collars here we're, we're doing much more gentle moving and maybe sort of once a week depending on the grazing conditions, how much rainfall we've had, how much feed there is, the size of the area as they're getting them used to uh, moving around on, on the basis of wearing these collars. So I've put the animals into this fenced area for now, so they've got a physical boundary to contain them. And then overlaid on that within the app, I've set the virtual boundary that they are then uh, responding to, or the collars are responding to, to helping them learn where the boundaries actually are.
Behind me is a wonderful hedge that's just starting to show signs of recovering. So before now, it's been very hardly uh, browsed back. But over time, with the no fence collars, we're starting to see this hedge starting to spill out into the, into the field here, billowing out and having a chance to breathe more easily. And over time, this is going to be much better for biodiversity, much better for, for nature that's moving back into this area as a result of the regenerative farming. Size of a sort of thumbnail. Love it. When you start to put sort of GPS into it and the ability to move that quite frequently, I think there's another question that we would need to answer about how animals might learn uh, where those boundaries were and where to expect that visual or audible cue um, and, and how, you know, sort of regular changing of that would impact on, on their, you know, their understanding of their environment. It's not quite as hungry as I thought. <laughs> Fresh grass. Fresh grass. Come on. Fresh grass. 